thank you for joining us in another Kingdom Power Park session. Provided by Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. All this is a transforming students into leaders, leaders and agents of change. Transforming students into leaders, leaders and the agents of change. Now we go to the message. I want to focus on what I believe shall be the keys of kingdom of heaven living on earth. Our focus session is preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is now. For 1800 years, the church was busy, but not effective. The church was doing good things, but not the right thing. Satan's biggest strategy is for you to be busy doing good things, but not the right thing. Am I making myself clear? Preach this message. Part 2. Matthew 10, 1. And when he called his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirit to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness. He gives them power against all unclean spirit and to cast them out to heal all manner of sickness, all manner of diseases. It is a command, Jesus' instruction. Matthew 10, 7, and as you go, Preach this message. The kingdom of heaven has come. He gave them instruction. There are many claim to be God's spokesman. There are millions identifying themselves as God representative on earth. There are millions building churches around the world. But Jesus only gave one instruction. As you go, preach this message. God know that you have your own message. He said this message, this is an instruction. The kingdom of heaven has come. Jesus Christ instruct his disciple. A disciple is a student, one who learned from a master teacher who had impartation, who had transformation from the teacher to the student. Instruction means direction, orders. Instruction means 
direct information how something should be done. Outline or manual orders. Every manufacturer that make a product, whether it be a BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Jaguar, Volkswagen, or Lexus, whatever corporation manufacturer that produce that vehicle, what was he thinking? What was in his mind? What was in God thinking? What was in his mind when he produced the product called man? God placed his spirit in man. He gave all human direction. Preach this message. It is information telling you what you must do. An outline or manual. When the manufacturer make a car, he place the manual in the glove compartment. The manual is the mind of the manufacturer. What you must preach? This message. Notice he gave them power. Power against unclean spirit to drive out demons, heal all manner of sicknesses. Power is the permission or control. The authority and influence, the ability to act or produce an effect to change a thing. Power is the word of God. It is living. It's alive. Discernment of the soul and spirit. Also the thought, the intent of your heart. This power and authority discern your spirit, your heart, your soul, and your mind. He gave them power. Unclean spirit or demons. Demons are those who left their position, the assignment in heaven, and they are falling angels. Am I making myself clear? They are demon possession. When these demons fall to earth, this will take place in the spirit realm. You cannot see with your eye. But it's taking place now. Matthew 12, 43. When an impure spirit has gone out of a person, it goes through places seeking rest and do not find it. Then he say, I will return to the house unoccupied, swept clean, which will be put in order. I will return, and it goes and take with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And finally, consider living there, they finally, the condition of that person is worse than his first beginning.
This is how it will be with this wicked generation. Generation of evil spirit. Am I making myself clear? Second Thessalonians one eight. And flaming fire, bringing judgment on those who do not know God and those who refuse to obey the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ only preached one message. The word refuse means unwillingness to do or allow. To turn down or deny. To decline, to accept, agree, to do something. Obey means to comply, to follow the command. The wish or instruction or the purpose of the one who gave you the command. To carry out or fulfill the command or orders instruction to do what has been told. 1800 years. The church has not did what they have been told. You preachers, you bishop, you pastors, you did not do what you are told. In flaming fire, taking, praying vengeance on those who do not know God, sinners, those who refuse preachers to obey the good news. Thousands of religious folk, religious people, refuse, unwilling to give a turn. They turned down, they were unwilling to give, allow, they declined hearing the gospel of the kingdom message. Am I making myself clear? Well, Paul the Apostle wrote 14 epistles called letter for two whole years. Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all those who came to see him. He proclaimed the kingdom of God and thought about the Lord Jesus Christ with boldness and without hindrance. Paul preached the kingdom. The same message John the Baptist preached. The same message Jesus commanded to preach. The kingdom of heaven is the country. The kingdom of God is the influence of the country and the colony on earth. He proclaimed the kingdom of God and thought about the Lord Jesus Christ, with all boldness and with all hindrance, without hindrance. Mark 1, 14, 15. After John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. The time is come. The kingdom of heaven is arrived. The message of Jesus is a kingdom of heaven on earth in the hearts of his sons and daughters made in his own image and likeness. The time has come, he said, the kingdom of God come nigh. Repent and believe in the good news. Believe me to have faith in firm assurance, full conviction, full persuaded faithfulness. The Greek word 
is confidence and trust. Have faith in the gospel. The only message Jesus preached is the gospel of the kingdom. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness to all nations. Then shall the end come. Christianity believe that when they die, they are going up to heaven. I got good news for you. Heaven is coming down to earth. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth coming down out of heaven. God never give you heaven. You did not fall from heaven. Man fall from dominion. Kingdom, leadership, dominion over earth resources. The kingdom of heaven is now. Not when you die. You can appropriate what you postpone. Christianity postpone the kingdom of heaven to another future. Another time. When you die, you go into heaven. The Bible don't teach that. The Bible teaches our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, the kingdom of heaven on earth. As it is in heaven, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. His plan always stand. God's original plan always stand. God's plan never fail. Lift up your head, so gates, and be lifted up your everlasting door, and let the King of glory come on in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord of faith, He is the King of glory. On behalf of Global Diplomat College Center and Team of Leadership Ministry here at Global Diplomat College Center, thank you again for viewing our videos. This is Joseph. Our holy prophet and back more by the will of God. Until next session, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless the United States of America.